Hi guys, welcome to another episode of G-Man Specs. Today, we're gonna take a look at women complaining about how hard it is to online date in 2024. So without any further ado, I'm gonna jump straight in, grab a drink, let's have a laugh at them. Me, or are you fucking exhausted from dating? Jesus fucking Christ. I get it, I get it, it's never been easy. I lived in New York, trust me, I know, I know, I know. But I feel like nowadays, it's, it's, it's a fucking uphill battle. If it's the guy that I met at the gym who said, oh my God, you're so stunning, my Lord, you're so gorgeous, but won't ask me out. Okay, single, I know he is. Um, or the guy that I met and we had a nice two month little thing and then of course self-sabotage because nah, why should anything actually work out, right? Not being Debbie Downer, not being negative, being realistic here, let's call it, let's call it spade a spade here. But I tried it, came to San Diego to see some family and was like, well, let's see what's out there. Tried talking to a guy at the gym, nope, don't do that. Mm -mm, they're terrified of that. Matched with a few guys, got one date this weekend. Cool, we're gonna go for a hike, we love that. But all the other ones, uh, either, it's, you know, I just want to go with the flow. I just I don't want anything serious. Let's just see what happened. No, thanks. Not interested. Okay, so hang on. So she's complaining, 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 but she's already telling on herself that she has so many guys in her life orbiting, talking to her. She has the, the world at her fingertips. And, and to me, look, some of you guys might find her really attractive. I look at this woman and I used to see train wreck. I see the tattoos on the chest. Carrying on being hyper over the top, hyper high energy, demanding, I want, I want, I want, I want, victim, 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 victim. To me, train wreck. She's only good for a P and D, right? The old pump and dump, bang and clang, fucking chuck, whatever we call it, right? That's all she's good for. And that's why guys are saying to her, we, only, we don't want anything serious. And that's why she knows that's code for, well, I've been here before. Um, I know I'm just going to get banged and clanged, right? And the guy's going to discard me. So I'm not interested because I've done it so many times. So they tell on themselves, guys. Um, or you have a conversation and they never respond or it falls flat because you're like, cool. Now what? It's tough out there. It's fucking tough. You're not alone. It doesn't matter what city you live in. It doesn't matter what age demographic. I don't want to fucking hear it. We're all struggling. And you know, I think it's time to take a little bit of a break. Good. Good I got to focus on my business and me and mourning my dog and all of those things. But you know, just want to commiserate. You're not the fuck alone. It is exhausting. Well, would you want to go with a woman who's, okay, now she's got her business, boss babe, over the top, entitled, potty mouth, swearing. Can you imagine going out with this girl? It wouldn't be very fun because she'd be very demanding and wanting stuff from you all the time. And guys, we've all been with women like this, right? Put it in the comments. Tell other guys about your experiences going out with high maintenance, bossy women. It never ends well. That's why they get avoided. They always say things like, oh, men are intimidated by me. Men are scared of me or they're not man enough for me. No, you're just a bitch. We don't want to deal with you. She's coming across like a huge bitch, right? I don't care. I'm not censoring it. All she's good for is getting fucked and dropping neck. That's it. Now, if you don't agree with me, put in the comments why. But if you agree, give us a thumbs up. All right, on to the next one. Okay, I think I'm realizing what I absolutely hate about modern dating, especially dating from like dating apps. Obviously you're not meeting in person, so the only thing that you have to go off of is their looks and like the first thing or two that they say to you. And I feel like that has caused so much pressure to like come up with some one liner and be snarky and funny and like mysterious. And no one can be that all the time. And honestly- No one can be that ever, right? Like basically the way that I see dating apps, like, ah. Uh... It's women sitting there, like, she's an attractive woman. Do you think she's she's saying that she's finding it hard to date? No, she's finding it hard to lock down some really guy, some guy who doesn't exist. She has a world at her fingertips, guys. This girl could get most guys that she wanted. I wouldn't go for her because I can see it's trouble, it's expensive, it's probably divorced down the line. But there are 99.9% .9 of other guys who would do that. Actually, I want another side note. I went camping with my friends this this past weekend and we're sitting around the campfire having a few beers. And we're talking about a girl that we used to know, um, who was, was really attractive, like, really attractive, right? But she's probably pushing 40 now. And she's still a stunner, apparently. But my friend's like, oh, yeah, she's so hot, and I would pay to do this and that. And apparently she's gone, she's with some billionaire. And the guys are like, oh, I wish I was a billionaire so I could pay to have her in my life. And it's like, 
guys are just so plugged in they don't realize what they're saying uh i just shake my head and guys obviously i can't say all this stuff you know red pill stuff to people because because men want to spit it out they don't believe they don't believe in it until they have some bad experiences and they find out the truth about women so a lot of guys who might not have had those bad experiences right yet or are just not open to knowing about how things really work that's how they think you get women you leave with money that's how you get women all that sort of stuff and you know what that means that billionaire who's with that woman she's probably going to take half a billion off him so <laughs> And they're saying how good it is, uh, how that'd be awesome to be him. No, it wouldn't be awesome to be him having some prostitute that you're giving money to be around you and knowing it. So very interesting, guys. Anyway, I digress. Honestly, sometimes that feels really inauthentic. And if you have to like continuously use a one liner to keep the conversation going, I have a really hard time continuing to have an organic conversation because it just doesn't feel exactly. authentic. It feels like you're trying too hard. The other day I had this guy who I matched with and he sent me this message and he was like, hi, like, you know, cause it was on Bumble. So I had to respond first. And he, he was like, hi, oh my gosh. Like, I'm so excited that we matched. You're so beautiful. And he was like, I, you know, I found you on Instagram and I learned a lot about you. And I think you have such a beautiful soul and I would love to take you out to dinner. Compare that to a guy who I matched with who had a really funny one liner that like kind of reeled me in. But then when I was trying to create like an authentic conversation with him, he just like kept saying these like snarky one liner things, which I think is fun. Like I love to flirt, but I'm trying to get to know you and it's kind of exhausting to like have to come up with like one liners and jokes after jokes. So like just be yourself. Okay, I think I'm really- All right, so she's complaining that she's burnt out from talking to guys who are all make, they're all making the effort to, to talk to her. She said it's on Bumble, right? She's talking about Bumble on her description here. So for Bumble, will the women just sit back and the guys have got to be like little planktons, you know? Little fish trying to eat the scum off the bottom of the ocean so that the, the girl will talk to them. And so these guys are coming up with stupid poems and whatever to try and get the attention of some chick like this. And she's the one who says she's finding it hard to communicate. But, but going to the shoes of a man on a dating app for even one hour and you, your whole view will be completely different. It's not like... There's just the expectations of the hoops that men have got to jump through to even be considered as worthy to talk to. Girls have no game. So guys who have dated a lot of women, so yep, I've womanized, I've dated lots of women, right? I've ran through heaps of them. I know the buttons to push to get them, right? And I never once jumped through any of these hoops, right? But the hoops that guys have to jump through, it's really astounding. It's, it's, I had women that, I had one woman say to me on the dating apps once, I won't forget it because I just thought, who the hell are you? So there's some girl who looked like this, some attractive girl. And I was like, hey, you know, how's it going? All right. And she goes, hey, write me a poem as to what, the, the, I want you to rhyme a poem as to the nice date and experience we can have together. I was like, yeah, no thanks, see ya. I fucking blocked her. How, it, there, there would be guys sitting there trying to think, for half an hour, some stupid poem, dancing around like a clown or a jester, trying to get her to, to take notice of him. That's the way that they act, right? And so they act like this. These girls have no game. I can tell you now, right? Try and get a girl to even remotely be able to hold a conversation without you driving it. Now on Bumble, all I ever got was a hand wave emoji, you know, or hi, with nothing else, just hi. Because you can tell she's doing it to like 400 dudes. Hi, 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 hi. All in lower case. Didn't even bother to put a capital H, right? Just bang, 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 bang. So of course you're going to get low effort from guys because they're all chasing other chicks as well. They just don't get it. Anyway, guys, we're halfway through. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and watch through to the end. I really appreciate that. And YouTube pushes the videos the longer you watch and it gets me out there, which I'll greatly appreciate, guys. Let's keep going. All right. Let's have a look at this, what this little chubby little chick has to say. I think dating apps should only be for people who actually want to date. Get off if you don't want to date. I feel like Tinder is kind of known as the hookup app. So, okay, sure, you can go on there, but get off Hinge. Hinge is for dating. Don't go on there if you just want to hook up or- No, they're not. They're all for just, they're all for, they're all for SEX. That's what they're all designed for. That's what most guys are going on there for. They're not trying to date you. These girls go on there because they want all these guys to come on and take them on dates and experiences and me, me, me. 
Like, this chick's like some tubby little chick covered in makeup. Well, how annoying is she? Why would you take this girl out anyway? I wouldn't even take her for a coffee. I wouldn't even meet up with her. She would annoy that hell out of me. And she's saying, and they come on here if you want to date me. It's like, guys are sick of it. We don't want to jump around like that. We realize you have no value to us apart from what's in between your legs. And most of the time, these girls aren't any good or worth that anyway. Or find someone to Snapchat back and forth with. Get off. Respectfully. Or someone says that they're looking for a long-term relationship, but then they either literally don't respond when you're like trying to get to know them or plan a date, or they ask for your Snapchat. A grown-ass man should not be asking for my Snapchat. I love finding Michael, 27, unemployed, who's looking for short-term fun. Like, respectfully, Michael. Respectfully. It's not respectfully. I think you're a little too old for that. Like, why would you not want a relationship? And he lives in his mom's basement, and he doesn't have a car either, so you have to pick him up. And then, unfortunately, on the date, he's going to have forgotten his wallet. Um, but just short-term fun. Not looking for a relationship. No. So she, so she just told on herself. Like She's trying to be funny. So she wants a guy with money, uh, looks, status. Um, he has his own property and all that sort of stuff that can spawn her around and pay for her. That's what dating is to these women. It isn't finding love. That's what they think love is. That's not love. That's servitude from men. And men don't really want to do that. Men don't like dating. That's why men try and go on dating apps um, and just try and get SEX, right? They try and use them to cut out the middleman and not run around after women and spend a lot of money for a lot of times, no result. That's why we do it. We don't, girls, if you any girls are watching me, which you're probably not, or you've clicked off already because you don't like what I have to say, we don't like chasing you around. Dating is not fun for us. It's a job, all right? We don't want to spend our money taking you somewhere to maybe try and think that you might like us in return. We already know, and guys who have been with a lot of women know that women have already made up their mind if they're going to be with you or not the second that you meet them. So going and spending more money on dates and experiences and all of that, it doesn't get you anywhere, guys. Don't do it. I can tell you from experience. Don't spend your money. They'll say, yep, thanks, see ya, and go home and bang some other dude. That's what happens. All right, lucky last clip, guys. We'll watch this one, have a bit of a chat about it, and we'll call it a wrap for the day. I just need a rant for a quick second. So if you live in New York, you know that the dating pool is extremely small and that you have to ask, you have to ask your friends if they're talking to the same guys that you're talking to, just because, you know, you don't want like any crossover episodes, but... This is the thing, like, so a lot of guys will chase girls like this, but I say, I look at a girl like this and I go, too expensive, too annoying. Like, you're not going to get anything about maybe have, maybe get some SEX off her. Like, it's going to cost you, right? These girls, they date for fun. They date for different experiences and for dopamine. They're not looking for just a normal guy. She's in New York. She probably wants to date rich finance guys. Or guys with businesses and money. She doesn't want to date average guys. So that's why the pool is so small. So her and her high maintenance friends are all getting banged and claimed, fucked and chucked by the same guys. I, and I don't realize that all they are is high-end escorts because guys pay, take them out for food and drinks and whatever it is and then have SEX with them and chuck them out. But they'll never learn. Even when they're 80 years old, they still want to do shit like this. It's happened to me like three fucking times already where I have to stop talking to some guy because I have a friend who's either talked to them or dated them or is currently speaking to them. And like, I'm just so overwhelmed. Why is it so hard to find a person with no like links or weird connections? Pray for me. Pray for her. She's got the world at her fingertips, guys. So it doesn't matter how good life can be for them. There's always something to complain about. Right? And the reason, once again, the reason why she's banging her and her friends are banging and talking to all the same guys is because they're going for the same small pool of guys. And look, she's very attractive with her makeup and everything. I'm sure she'll look good without it too. So I'm assuming her friends are all those really pretty looking girls. They're not going for the guy who makes fifty or eighty thousand dollars. They want the two hundred thousand dollar guy, the hundred and fifty thousand, the five hundred k guy. There aren't many of them around, ladies. He has to be tall, fit, uh, good body, funny, charming. Okay, there's about zero point zero one percent of guys. 
and they want to complain and make fun that they're all dating and dating so hard. Dating is not hard. Not for a woman like this. You have so many guys that would lay down at her feet and worship her and simp for her, right? They want the guys they feel they're entitled to that are way above them. And that's, once again, guys, why they find themselves in this situation. Or they find themselves just being used up, lied to, thrown back in for the next chad to do. All right, guys. So that's it for me. If you haven't subbed yet, please press that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to check out my catalog, I've got about 130 other videos. So take a look, guys. Covers some pretty interesting, diverse topics. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.